চেয়ে দেখো চলেছেন মৃদে অস্তাচলে দিনেশ ছড়ায় স্বর্ণ রত্ন রাশি রাশি আকাশে কতবার যত্নে কাদম্বিনী আসি ধরিতেছে তা সবারে সুনীল আঁচলে কে না জানে অলঙ্কারে অঙ্গনা বিলাসী অতি তরা গড়ি ধনি দৈব মায়া বলে বহুবিধ অলঙ্কার পরিবেল হাসি কনক কঙ্কন হাতে স্বর্ণ মালা গলে সাজাইবে গজ বাজি পর্বতের শিরে সুবর্ণ কিরিট দিবে বহাবে অম্বরে নদস্রোত উজ্জ্বলিত স্বর্ণ বর্ণ নিরে সুবর্ণের গাছ রোপি শাখার উপরে হেমাঙ্গ বিহঙ্গ থোবে এ বাজি করিরে শুভক্ষণে দিনকর কর দান করে We were at the lower circular road cemetery Kolkata, India, in front of a grave where the epitaph read, Stop a while, traveller. Should Mother Bengal claim thee for her son, as a child takes repose on his mother's Elysian lap, even so here in the long home, on the bosom of the earth, enjoys the sweet eternal sleep poet madhusudan of the tatas modu kobi madhusudan tat a modern poet and a dramatist 1824 to 1873 lived a very short life and wrote both in english and bengali language He was a modern rebel poet and a dramatist of the 19th century who was known for valuable and memorable pieces of literary gems. Dutt followed Christianity and wrote mainly in English language but also had a small but significant repertoire in the Bengali language. In Bengali his best known work is Meghnath Bot Kapo a tragic epic in nine cantos which is notable for being constructed in the European and Greek style very different from the classical Bengali style that is also noteworthy for writing poems about the sorrows and afflictions of love as spoken by women His major stays and higher education abroad greatly influenced him by the works of William Wordsworth and John Milton. He wrote five plays: Sharmishta, Padmavati, Ekhe Bole Shobhota, Krishna Kumari, and Purushaliker Kare Rong, and also narrative poems: Tilottoma Shambhavo Kapo, Meghnath Bot Kapo. Brojogana Kapo and Birangona Kapo He also translated three plays from Bangla to English including his own Sharmishta Sharmishta was Tat's first attempt at blank verse in Bengali literature Praising Tat's blank verse Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee observed As long as Bengali race and Bengali literature would exist the sweet lyre of madhusudan would never cease playing michael madhusudan dat died in calcutta general hospital on the 29th of june 1873 three years prior to his death madhusudan recited a passage from shakespeare's macbeth expressing his deepest conviction of life out out brief 
candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Standing in front of his grave in deep reverence we were remembering Michael Madhusudan Dutt, the first Bengali playwright who became the face of the Bengal Renaissance.